there's no restriction on the right time to chant or the wrong time to chant. You can take the holy name at any time. So Mahaprabhu himself says that. And there's a famous instance with Gopal Guru Goswami and uh, I forget the other devotee's name, but one thought that uh, he shouldn't take the name when he was answering the calls of nature because that's a polluted, contaminated position. But from this Gopal, who later became known as Gopal Guru, because here a disciple took the position of Guru by telling you, no, actually you can take the holy name under any circumstances. It will never be polluted by anything external. But Srila Guru Maharaj will remind us, is it Vaikuntha Nama Grahanam? Is it sound that has Vaikuntha quality, spiritual quality? This is the all-important factor. Just to parrot some particular sound, that's not uh, necessarily the holy name. So many times on this subject, Srila Guru Maharaj would quote Jagarananda Pandit saying, Namakar bahi roi bata namakabu noi. That the nam akar means the, just the syllables of the holy name, those, the sounds, the objective sounds that we make. Kabu noi, that's never the holy name. So there's something, that's what is in the objective world and what is in the subjective aspect. And the spiritual aspect of some, something we trace to the subjective plane. So this Vaikuntha Nama Grahanam of Guru Mars, does it have that Vaikuntha quality? And here Vaikuntha is synonymous with spiritual. He, this is from the um, sixth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam and the Ajamil. Uh, section. Right. So, uh, quality, the quality of Krishna Nam, Sevan Mukhe Hijivaru Shayam Eva Spuritida, Atak Sri Krishna Nam, Sri Krishna Nam Adi Nam Rupa Guna Lila, the name, form, qualities, pastimes of Krishna, Grahyam Indriye. They're beyond the grasp of the senses. This is reinforcing what it said. It is not an objective experience. It's beyond the grasp of the senses, the mind, and the intellect. Right. The holy name proper. So that holy name can be taken under all circumstances.